both people know each other's characters because I gave Xerxion the <laughs> the Ike experience and Verminubis gave Bridger the Ganondorf experience. So it's pretty funny how this works out. We'll be getting into this game underway pretty shortly. And I do believe that Xerxion, ooh, going Mewtwo. This is an interesting turn of events. Haven't seen that pop up in a while. Bridger rocking the normal Ike. Arion working the shiny Mewtwo, or the shiny-esque Mewtwo. That tail needs to be a little greener, but it still works out. We'll see what kind of cool tricks Xerxion has pulled off on his Mewtwo. Mewtwo not seen as one of the better characters in this game. Definitely a uh, somewhat low tier. He's got some interesting options, but he has a little bit to be desired in the weight department and killing potential off of fast moves. Bridger getting in with a quick jab to quick draw and gets the up smash. Platform check chase. Good grab. Does not follow up on it, though. More jabs to get off pressure. Using quick draw to close space. I'm not sure how much experience Bridger has at the uh, Mewtwo matchup. He's kind of a character that just nobody really plays anymore. Fully charged Shadow Ball ready to launch at any point in time for Xerxion. It's a pretty strong move if he manages to get it off, and it's very detrimental to Ike's recovery because he needs the sweet spot at the lowest possible section. Whether or not Bridger knows about that is a different story. This matchup should be in Ike's favor, though, because of how early he should be able to kill Mewtwo. Good down throw into up air. Follow-ups for Xerxion into up smash. Gets that kill. Nice. Oh, that was not safe. He probably should have gone for just jab one and jab two, and he might have been fine. Gets trumped, forward smash, and up tilt should take this. Ike's up tilt very strong in this game, getting that kill at 119 on Mewtwo. Very, not even rage needed. Oh, no, he took his jump. All oh, that, you hate to see that happen. Xerxion will walk away with that first game. Not necessarily convincing, but it was uh, to be noted that he did get his jump taken. So that's kind of how things plan out sometimes. Oh, I need to switch these around a little bit. My apologies. Xerxion is the one playing Mewtwo. Bridger is playing Ike. Now we got that sorted out on the other side. Bridger counter picks back to Battlefield. A little salty about that. I would be too. How much do I owe you, Chris? Uh, it's about 10. Okay. Thank you so much. Bridger had a solid game one, although he did get his jump taken for that recovery and I guess died at a very early percentage. Xerxion had a great combo on him. Getting that up smash read, nice. Puts on a lot of damage against Mewtwo. It's very important to kill him early so Mewtwo cannot build his rage. And Ike can do that very efficiently with some of his smash attacks, back air, uh, all sorts of moves. I was playing some with Bridger last night and he seems to have a solid concept of his character, but he just needs to work a little bit on his fundamentals. Yes. He also lacks matchup finesse, but a lot of that comes with getting fundamentals, of course. Good forward throw from Xerxion. Still with stage control right now. Utilizing that Nair to probably drag him down, but Mew Ike usually doesn't care about that with his uh, Aether recovery. Good back throw. Getting for positioning. Oh, no. Teleporting around causes... Uh, causes uh, Bridger to be messing up a little bit. Oh no, too far out. He was he was afraid of the back air from Mewtwo and it didn't work out. Down tilt to fair and falling up air does not connect, however. Still able to get that jab tech chase. Dash attack, is, now he's, Bridger's playing a little angry. I can see how. And then nice, Shadow right. Ball is not going to be very helpful. Oh. This, this, this is done. There are so yeah. many ways to abuse Ike's recovery when you have projectiles. Well, it's, it. it's all about uh, Xerxion will take that pretty, pretty convincingly there. Bridger couldn't establish his uh, on-stage game. However, the goal with Ike is really to recover at the lowest possible degree. He yeah. can't auto-snap on the way up, but he can make it so that he doesn't have to deal with those projectiles on the ground floor. Right. This also has to uh, incorporate with characters such as Samus and Lucario as well. And Both. With, yeah, with me too, it's important to uh, sweet spot right to that edge on your recovery as yes. well. Because he's vulnerable for a good uh, third of a second or something like that. Yeah, right? teleports don't really have the best of options when right. they're coming back from the from the uh, off screen. From the, you know, side section over there. We're going to get another match on here in a little bit. 
Uh, but that was Xerxion and Bridger. Um, hopefully one of these other matches now will be super interesting. All right, what the Fox and Tall Guy. That's all we heard, and that's all I'm going to put down.